Hey guys, in today's tutorial, I wanted to go over how to recreate TikTok's neon shadow effect slash filter. So pretty much we start by duplicating our footage and we place find edges on the top footage. And then we're also placing an invert. And uh, the reason why we're doing this is because we want the edges to be the lighter color and we want the parts that are not the edges to be a darker color. Uh, you'll see that in later in the video because we're gonna be putting a screen blending mode. Uh, from there, uh, curves, place it on the footage. And the reason why we're doing curves is because with find edges, there's a lot of artifacts. So you want to get rid of that uh, by crushing the blacks as I'm gonna do right now. You can see the histogram cleans up substantially. Uh, you're still gonna have a little bit of noise, but you know, that's fine. Just don't shoot high ISO or something like that. Yeah, next is Colorama. Uh, not sure why Colorama works with this specifically because uh, you can see it looks a little funky first, but uh, I changed it to Alpha Ramp. And you know, I just noticed with experimentation, uh, here's without the effect. It just makes the edges pop a little bit more. The next part um, is you're gonna get a hue saturation. Place it there. You want to check off colorize, crank up the saturation to 100. And uh, I'm going to just use a simple expression, uh, animating it over time. I find that time times 60 works. Uh, so this is what we have right now. We got most of the effect done. From there, you want to create a new solid, uh, gradient ramp on that solid, gradient ramp, bam. Uh, you want to make the start of the ramp, uh, whatever your horizontal resolution is times two. So I know that my uh, res horizontal resolution is 1080 and I'm going to multiply by two. And then I want the end of the ramp to be uh, zero. Uh, and then also we set this value to zero. That way um, we get a gradient ramp, a value of 100 to 50. And then from there we could just hide that. And then we put a displacement map. We check the black solid, enable effects and masks. Vertical displacement is zero. And uh, just, you know, recreating the effect from TikTok, you know, I noticed that the right side of the footage uh, is uh, the neon effect isn't warped as much. And then on the left side, it warps more in like a displacement map style fashion. Uh, so, you know, just cranking it up, you know, it displace displaces more on the left side, you know, just to recreate the effect, um, more make it more true to the actual TikTok effect. Uh, and then, yeah, from there we put glow and, uh, you just set glow to something that works for the footage. Uh, I think in this one, 2.5 works. Uh, you want to set the resolution to full if your computer can handle it. Uh, cause glows look different, uh, much different on, depending on the preview resolution. Uh, I'm going to set the radius, maybe like 15. Eh, yeah, that's good. Okay. So we got the pretty much the effect is done to, to see the effect in action. Just set your blending mode to screen on top of that. And yeah, we're done. If this video helped you out, be sure to subscribe to me as I'm gonna make a lot more uh, After Effects editing tutorials. Hope you have a good one.